Hey, it's Ms. Lad again, and we are on Unit 5, Lesson 3, Level 11, Part B. So let's take a look at this photo album app and what it is that they want us to do. Okay. So uh, the scroll buttons, we want to make sure that the scroll buttons don't cause errors. The counter for the number of photos updates correctly. The random photo button displays a random photo from the list. Photo list. Okay. That seems like a fair amount of stuff to do, but let's do one thing at a time. So the scroll buttons don't cause errors. Let's find out what errors they cause. So we can go ahead and just pull up the debug console. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up as well. Uh, this is the top of my screen here. Looks like we have one, two, three images total. So that's zero, one, and two. Our index starts at zero, so it's going to immediately find, um, because we're doing update screen, it's going to immediately find index zero and set that URL of that image to um, the picture output uh, and find the URL from photo list that's up here. So this would be zero, the next one would be one, and then one after that would be two. Okay, so let's see what it does. Let's take a quick look. So first you can see that we have index zero right here, um, presumably index one, and presumably index two. Now let's see what happens when we hit this. Oh. So there is no index three. And if I check on that in the console, what is the value, current value of index? It's three. So we need something that's going to prevent us from um, continuing to add on and on and on and on to this. So that means we're going to need some kind of a conditional statement that says, hey, only do this when this is true. So let's see here, the right button, we can say, if value of index is what? So let's do that. So the value of index is less than photo list dot length minus one. Then we're going to increase the index by one. And then we'll update screen. So I'm going to do this so you guys can see this. So console.log, I'm going to call the value of index before we do the conditional statement and the value of index after, right? And this is just with the right button. So we'll use this button here. That's probably the right button um, and see what it does. So let's go ahead and reset and hit run. And here we know that index is zero because that just automatically starts with zero because we update screen immediately. So zero and then after that conditional statement is true, it goes to one and then hits update screen. Right? one and update screen. Next, was it one? Hit the conditional statement and is now at two. And next, and it just stays at two. So it never goes beyond two. Cool, that fixes that problem. Now let's take a look at the left button. All right, so here's left button. It's going to need the same thing. I'm going to take this console.log here and put my semicolon afterwards. Otherwise, it's going to be upset. So here, we're going to do basically the same thing that we did on the right button with the left button only. We are going to have to make sure if index is less than one. We're gonna change this a little bit. We're gonna um, cycle it through. We should do the same with the other one as well. 
So let's do that. Um, say if index is less than one, then we're going to take index and set its value. Um, photo list dot length minus and it'll always get the value from the top index else oops, else And it'll say index is equal to index minus one, so it can uh, decrement down and update screen. Okay. So this should take care of our left and our right button. Let's fix this so that it also cycles through the LSE. That would be um, index equals zero because that's the bottom of our list. All right, so let's reset and hit run. So here's our thing. Great, now we can go backwards and it cycles through. So we have our if and our else. Um, so that way it can kind of keep going. Now, the second thing here. So the scroll buttons don't cause errors anymore. Yippee! Uh, we can get rid of these console.log so they don't mess up with our... Um, we'll just get rid of them right now. But I wanted them there so that you guys could see um, how the value changes and why um, it needs to be photo list.length minus one as opposed to just photo list.length. Um, all right, console. Cool. All right, so let's do the next thing, the counter number for the number of photos updates correctly. Well, right now it doesn't tell us how many photos there are. So let us um, do that. So that's in the update screen. Add code here to make the total number of photos show in total photos output. Okay, set text. That's what we use to set the text of anything. Um, and this is going to be not label but output. And then the value of that is going to be photo list dot length. All right. Make sure that we it's already update screen does this. Okay. Good. Is there anything else I need in there? I don't think so. Yep. Okay. Photos list at length. Good. So now if we reset and we run, we have three photos in our list. We have three photos um, here where it says total photos. Let's do the random photo button, which does nothing at the moment. So here where it says add code to make this button cause a random photo to show up. That's how we do this. Okay. So index is now going to equal a random number. And it's going to be from zero come on, to the top of the list, which is going to be uh, Photo list dot length minus one. And we got to make sure that we update call update screen. And that should fix that. All right. So let's try that. Hit our, uh, hit the run. We're going to hit the run button. All right. So here's our first image. We can cycle through, cycle this away. The total number of photos is three. Random photo, random photo, random photo, random photo, random photo. 
OK. So I think this button adds another item to our, um, our list here. So let's figure out, is there something else that is telling us to do that at code? OK, let's try this. Reset. Run. All right, we have three. I'm going to add a fourth photo. Let's add this cute phone. Open. All right, now when I go through here, there's my phone. If I go, um, oh no, not that. I want random photo, random photo, random photo, random photo. It gets all of our photos. If I were to add another item, right, we could do that. Um, and I'll add this cute computer, say open. And now we have five photos, random photo, random photo. There's my cute computer, random photo, random photo. All right. That's everything that we needed to do for this. Let's go ahead and hit finish and we're done.